Welcome back to Mag Sam's Let's Play Golden Sun 2, The Lost Age. I'm RM2K Mitty, and with me is Deathtron Hammer. Hey there! I'm ready to pray to a sea god. We're in the sea shrine. I'm gonna make him cry me a river. Alright! I'm gonna throw the rope again! Just don't miss this time! No, you missed again! Sorry, Tavi! I can't do it! I thought I got lucky when the wave carried me up here. Are you crazy? It knocked you stupid for a good ten minutes! Yeah, yeah, just find some way to get me down from here. Fine. Just don't jump down or do anything dumb, okay? Seems like you would easily jump down, doesn't that... Doesn't look that shallow. I mean, we can't wade across. Maybe it is shallow. I didn't think they would be this young. Yeah, these are like seven-year-olds or something. Huh. I just realized Felix has a ponytail. Yeah, it kind of does. Watch him run, you'll see it like drag behind him. It only shows in a couple angles, though. Yeah, there it is. It's interesting. Ah! You scared me! I thought you were one of the grown-ups from Dali- Dela. Ah. Dela. So who are you? Look, I'm kind of busy trying to help my pal Talfi right now, okay? I'm gonna read your mind. Can't find anything around here that'll get him down from there. I'm not gonna ask this adult to help. No. And I'm not gonna help. You're not. Screw this kid. They can find their own way down. See if I care. <laughs> Poor Ricky and Tabby. The truth is, we just actually can't do anything about it right now, so... Oh. I'm not being sure. I wonder how much in-game time's gonna pass. You know, if you were to think about it, like, before we yeah. get back to it. We've been here for two months! I'm still looking for an item to get him down. I've been eating those punch ants. Punch ants? Speak of the devil? Yep, Felix's ponytail. I just noticed, Felix hasn't talked. Have they made him a silent protagonist? Yeah, he's the new Isaac. So the fall, the fall into the ocean at the end of the game has rendered him mute. Did he get the coochie coochie treatment? Yeah. <laughs> it damages his vocal cords. Wolves and bats. Boing, boing. This really doesn't feel like a new game, does it? It feels like the same game to me. There's different animations, yeah, for the sprites. So if Felix is one, Jen is two, and she was three, I, it makes me wonder who's the fourth then. Yeah, it's like... There's no way they're gonna leave it three. It would be kinda cool if they did leave it three. Or if they, like, swapped out different party members. Well, you know what would've been funny if, like, if it, the fourth is Alex? Yeah. And he's only, like, level five, and he's all like... Oh, I can kill all these soldiers, I can beat them all, and... Oh, Isaac and his friends are nowhere near a match for us. No. Like, they're, they're level 30 because you're level five, dude. Actually, I think they're level 50-ish. If I recall correctly. Oh, but, yeah, you know what I mean, though. They're, like, crazy powerful. I mean, Isaac won Colosso. That says something. The Deccan Plateau. Deccan, 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 Deccan. 
I'm not sure if this is the way I'm supposed to go. Skeleton appeared. I recognize these models from the previous game. Yeah, they just reused a lot of the monsters. Jeez, you'd almost think they're the same game. Just, just put on a different coat of paint just to justify charging uh, for two halves of the same game. Game Boy Games games cost about thirty fuck. Some of them cost up to forty dollars, but never. It's usually about thirty dollars, right? They're about yeah. I still stand by my belief that the first Golden Sun felt like a prologue more than anything before the plot started. Yeah. You know. So I'm guessing it's all gonna begin here. Oh, no. no. my ass! But yeah, begin here. Full metal vest. Full metal vestible. Full metal vest. Full metal crest. Full metal vest. Full metal vest. We're like a full metal past. So there's no point in me buying that armor in the town because I got this armor. It's already way better. Could have spent my money on a sword, but no, I wasn't thinking that way. You thought the best offense was a good defense, and you're paying for it in better defenses than what you spent. Yep. Uh, I'm running out of synergy, too. Wow, it's starting to turn into a survival situation, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe Who I should have gone eat? back to the village. Who will you eat first to restore your synergy? Craden. Cra oh, 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 shit. Damn, that's morbid. Elixir. No. Uh. Look at the exit. You can step on those pillars twice. For some reason, they restore themselves when you change out of the area. Angle worm. Somehow carries a bunch of swords. That's kind of creepy. You know what's creepier than an angle worm? What? A tapeworm. Yeah, that is creepy. Those worms they find inside cod stomachs. Ah. They're like super long. I don't know what those things are called. Ah. Man. It's creepy in general. I've heard horror stories involving tapeworms. It's just like, ah, uh, no. Boost agility. I already got an item. That's good. Who has the best agility right now? I'm gonna go with your advice from the previous game. Strengthen our strengths. Rather than using it to cover over weaknesses. And creating a mediocre cast. Yeah. yeah. Angle worm. Let everyone specialize in something, I guess. Felix will be strength, she will be agility. I don't know Jenna's ability yet. Nagging. Nagging plus five. Nagging and insensitivity for an Alex. My, you are cranky today. <laughs> yes. Even Crane gets annoyed and he's like the king of patience. Boop 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 yeah, I, ooh. I think you did something to push on the other side, but you don't know it well enough. Ah, oh, thank you. Love these random battles. We gone. So is there no way through this? Um, oh, I see the way. No? There's no way through this one. Oh, I see. I'm dumb. Um, do you think those are pillars of salt? It could be. 
or pillars of basalt. Pillars of the salt and sea. Salt and sea. Any of you from California? Have you been to the salt and sea? That place is creepy as hell. It's the place in Grand Theft Auto V they're kind of imitating, but it's like way less clean and shiny. There's like miles of dead fish and the abandoned buildings. What killed the fish? The water is salty. It's saltier than the ocean, but the tilapia somehow can live there. Oh, wow. But in the summer, the heat changes the water chemistry, and it kills off the weaker fish. I see, and so... Oh, I can't imagine the smell, either. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like, it's one of the creepiest... It's below sea level, too. It's just kind of a creepy place in general. I remember there's some movie that was called The Salt and Sea. I think it takes place there. I haven't seen it, but... And I remember there's a character, do you care? I don't care. Called Pooh Bear. And you know why he's called Pooh Bear? Why? Because he snorted so much cocaine that his nose fell off. Dang. Yeah. This thing has, a, a, has herbs to restore its health. What kind of BS is that? Well, good thing it's a mini goblin, not an adult goblin. Die, goblin. He just won't die. He's just like, eh. He's like, hit the perfect storm of random movements. There we go. Dead. General leveled up. Shh. Uh. He in the sand. I'm an idiot. No, I can't get to there. Okay. Why didn't... Why didn't Felix just fly? He's wearing a cape. He'll just go whoosh. Isn't that how Superman flies? He just waves his cape around. Literally. Whoosh. I'm flying. That kind of reminds me of, um... What was the name of the show? Um, runs around in his underwear. Freakazoid. Freakazoid. Yeah, yeah Freakazoid. And I remember of Freakazoid, how he'd run around pretending he's flying. Yeah. Whoosh, hands outstretched. Wasn't it that he actually had superpowers when he was just completely crazy? His powers were like the internet and memes and stuff. And jokes. His powers were the internet, essentially. So all of his jokes were really, really out there and random. I'll have to check down that show and watch an episode or two again. It was made by the people that made the uh, Animaniacs and Hysteria, I think. Yeah. It was like the first show that didn't have an educational component. Like, all the other shows had to have a little bit of education in them. That one was just for fun. I remember there was a recurring gag character. They'd always, like, try to fit in every episode. It was a guy, like, so intensely doing this, like, flexing his whole neck and just, like, staring at you, showing his teeth. And I know I missed the treasure chest. I'll be right back to the treasure. I gotta panel out. Ah! Stupid mini goblin. I remember when your younger brother was saying that Freakazoid was the sidekick to Earthworm Jim in the games. Really? Yeah, and I remember going, what? No, that makes no sense. Did Earthworm Jim have a sidekick? I don't know if he does. I've never played in the Earthworm Jim games, but I don't think it was Freakazoid. No, he's not even related to that franchise. Oh, I see. You push the column over. I think. But your brother did have a... Well, we all had a penchant for... Bringing up, making up bullshit. Just to see who will buy our bullshit. Yeah. I, I got you guys with the Crewman Simpson thing for a good bit. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Ugh. To explain Crewman Simpson, it's it's simple. Um, 
There's a computer game we were very fond of back in the day called Star Trek 25th Anniversary. It was a point and click adventure and you play Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and Red Shirt, who... Ooh, nice. Femis is at. Different Red Shirt for every episode. There were different episodes. And, um... There's one mission where another, uh... Federation ship gets hijacked by uh, the East Side Pirates. Something made up for the game, as I recall. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a character on that ship called Crewman Simpson. He was injured. He's like the only survivor on the ship. And he helps you here and there. And that's the uh, that's the official end of his role. He get, he helps you once or twice. All right. See you later. Moving on. However, with Arm 2 and his brother, Mr. X, I was able to go, no, 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 if you do it right, you, since Scrum and Simpson's the only survivor of the ship, you bring him on board the Enterprise and he's a new bridge officer, and he gives you super strong shields. Like, hit your shields, get another layer on them. So you can really do well in battle. And, um... Stone Justice. That's interesting. Stone Justice. But, um, Arm 2 and his brother, they, they actually believed it for a good long while. They were doing every variation they could that they could think of to try to get Krim and Simpson to join them. Because they're on the bridge of the ship in the game, there was an empty seat and console just right yeah. there. And I said he took that co the seat and console. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That's cool. So... Yeah, they were at it for a long time. Sneaky bastard. Well, you guys made up shit to me in games and this and that other. Yeah. Well, also, you do also the one up of, um, outright stealing the game out from the case. It's yeah. just waiting until I discover it's missing. Yes. Like, I remember one time I was wanting to play, uh, I, I got Chrono Trigger on for the PlayStation. And, um, I, 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 I got Chrono Cross sometime recently and I played through and goes, okay, cool, I feel like playing Chrono Trigger now. You know, to actually go back now that I have this and I feel like playing through again. And I open the disc. And there's this cut out, cheap cut out picture of, and barely colored in, of Pikachu. And he's looking at me and going, Sorry, your Chrono Trigger isn't here! <laughs> How long did we have it? Was it like a month or something? There's something, and I'm just staring at this, this Pikachu, and I'm in shock! <laughs> and so, I immediately try to call you guys, and I get no answer. But it's, it, it's not because you, there's no way you would have known that's what I was calling about. But I remember finally, it was like a day or two later, I finally hung out with you guys, and I come over and go, Where's Chrono Trigger? Uh -huh. And both of you just burst out laughing, I go, Okay, no, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, where is it? <laughs> that was a pretty good prank. Yeah. Alright. What's this? No! I made uh, some holes. No! Come back here, you wascally genie! So when he gets a critical attack, it executes stone justice instead of using the axe. There's a couple weapons like that in the previous game. So no complaints. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But it's not every time, it's just kind of random. You know what critical attacks are. There he is. Stupid genie! Come back here! Uh, no! Uh. I'm sick of these mini goblins. Oh, 
I remember Mr. X trying to pull a crimin- er... <laughs> Mr. X. But anyway, um... When Mr. X tried to pull a crimin Simpson on me, and it was, um... He was telling me, no, you can get Chrono to join your party in Chrono Cross. I didn't believe it for a second. I was like, no, I've unlocked every character in the game. I have the roster's full. There is no more room. You unlocked all 40 characters? Yes. That is insane. So he was just trying to go, no, you can get Chrono. No, you can't. Yeah, no. <laughs> you just did it. Uh, no, I played the game. Three, four times now, I've unlocked the entire roster. That's everyone. Thank you. Have a nice day. Weren't some of the characters in Chrono Cross kind of weird? <laughs> Most of them were so inconsequential. Like the one with the Why are they here? Who shawl the dog? <laughs> but, yeah, Stinky Poo. That's how I was the. I am the most best shirt in Stinky Poo. So why? And so, yeah, that was... That was a... Yeah, so many inconsequential characters, and... I don't know, it, it's a contrast from the in small and intimate cast of Chrono Trigger to have such... Because everyone talked the same, no matter who you had, there was very little personality to them. Because they used this mass cipher, all it was is that they created a translation huh. program for whatever character you play, so it would just run, let's say the normal dialogue is, hey, look over there to the west. And now let's say you have Fargo the pirate, I look there to the west, matey. And then you have the guy who's missing two front teeth, I look there to the west. Or, or the turn up who thinks he's a knight looks dust out to the west. You know, but it's just yeah. applying certain words, replacing character, make it that apply here, here, here. So it was like programmed. Yeah, and because of that, there was no personality. There was nothing special. Wait, am I, did I just backtrack? I think I did. I don't know. All I know is that my party was Surge, Kid, and Glenn. Glenn. But no relation to Frog. Not letting the Frog from Chrono Trigger. Whenever I got Frog in Chrono Trigger, I named him Glenn. I would name Red 13 in Final Fantasy VII uh, Nanaki. Yeah. So I know your real name. Yeah, what's the boy? And Princess Garnet. You just name her Garnet. Yeah! Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. I, I still find that funny. Her holding the dagger. Like, hmm. I can't go by my name, Garnet, anymore. What, what do you call this weapon? That's a dagger. A dagger, huh? Quick, fast, slick, and deadly. Yes, you shall call me, one naming screen later, Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... Uh... Sorry, guys, I get turned around easily. I'm like that sometimes. Oh, I see, so you dropped on the cave up here. Blah, blah, blah. Multiple paths to the same location. Ugh. They make it so damn hard to escape in these battles, too. It's a mini gob. They want you to level up so bad, they throw you into this dungeon from the get go. Yeah. I might grind a little off camera. Just to make these battles a little more tolerable. You know, I have to admit, I am starting to like Felix's cloak cape thing. Yeah, it's really cool. What's interesting, these characters from the village are actually... They seem to be pretty young. Like, teenagers. But not even like older teenagers, like younger teenagers. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, damn you. This kind of reminds me of a bridge from, a uh, Zelda Link's Awakening. There's a bridge kind of like that. Oh, uh, yeah. That- this was reminding me of Final Fantasy V. 
we are climbing these uh, cliffs to get, I think, a cure for Princess Reyna's pet dragon. Uh huh. And yeah, you climb bridges like that, and the it was, it was interesting. Five was an interesting game, but I remember. Uh, it was one of those weird instances, I got all the way to the final boss and I kept losing over and over and over and over and gets to the point where you just go, fuck it, I quit, right? Yeah. And then I don't know how many years later I decided, you know what, I want to try that fight again. I want to try it again. J just cause, why not? And I beat it. With fre a completely fresh... I guess I need just to step away from the game for a while. But yeah, I, I won. I won in that first attempt after that just... Well, I don't know. It was pretty funny. It baffled me. Like, okay, I won. And I got the best ending, too. That's crazy. And yeah, 5 has... I guess you'd call them multiple endings? But it does. Huh. I've never finished 5. But then it's the only Final Fantasy I have multiple endings. Well, multiple ish. Uh, it's hard to describe. I, I won't spo spoil the ending. Spoil the endings to every Final Fantasy ever, please. So this is an interesting addition to this game. They added these pillars. You can push and also climb. So you can actually climb down. So they're being innovative. Yes. Instead of a pillar that climbs, or a pillar that you push, how about a pillar Can you imagine if they just had log puzzles again for the rest of this game? Uh, World end. You probably wouldn't be as enthused to be playing this right now, then. No, I would've like been playing it like, uh, let's play another Let's Play. So tell me, do you miss your old party right now at all? Yeah, these, these are being pushovers. They had to come up with an excuse to level you back to five. It wouldn't make any sense to give Isaac and company level 5. Well, you know, at least from Shadow Hearts to Shadow Hearts Covenant. Uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched our Covenant Let's Play and Shadow Hearts, so... Heads up, um... We'll put a little clicky thing in the corner if you want to skip this spoiler. Yeah. Um, at least they explain Yuri's weak weakening, you know? Like, oh yeah, at the end of Shadow Hearts, he was level 60 on something. But because of the mistletoe, he's level 1 again. You know, that makes sense. And how to excuse other characters? Well, the rest of your party members are new characters. Yeah. No one else is recurring and returning to the party. Bam. Done. Finally, some level ups. And spoiler over. Very minor spoiler. Yeah, it's just from the end of one game to the beginning of another. Oh, I see. Okay. It's gonna collapse! Ugh. Wasn't this theme in the other game? Yes. There's only been very few new songs I've so far noticed. I have to go back down, thanks. That's real convenient. At least I can go around. They should make dungeons convenient for me. Uh, I kinda wish I'd stop in the inn on the way back from the uh, shrine. Though I'd probably be out of PP again by now. But... Utter pain in the ass. What's in here? Caves? Oh, freak, there's the genie. I almost walked right into this thing without, like, paying attention to where I was stepping. There's a genie! Go running! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got some more abilities. Flare wall. Whirlwind. Oh, 
Level 7, yay. Okay. Ah! Oh, I was not expecting that. That's actually that West really West Genie. That's actually really cool that he used a synergy skill on you, you know? Just yeah. go, no. That's awesome. Hey. Huh. Fascinating. I had to drop in on it from the ceiling, I think. Ugh. I think I have to go, like, down up. Yeah. This. That's what I'll do. I'll go outside. Oh, wait, there's a, uh... I mean, down up on the rock trail. See, you're yeah. go doing it right, and then you have to go over, over see, on the bottom? Yeah. Down here. Then maybe up from the roof. There's a little drop in it. Do, 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 do. Ah. Wrong one. Oh, frick. Ah. That's the thing with this, you already know you screwed up before you execute the All you can do is, yeah, approach it. It's like a bad chess game where you know you've already lost. Man, our chess games back in the day were weird. They were. Because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Yeah. Yet I was still winning when you're the, like, continuously playing chess buff. Yeah, I... S I have no talent for the game. I mean, I'm... I'm okay. But it's not like an innate talent of mine to play chess. And I try really hard, too. I think a lot of it is innate skill and of being able to see it. See a picture? The big picture? Or... Yeah, I've... Cause that wasn't the case with me, I was just going, eh, here to there. Here to there. Oh, it's just like a natural skill? I don't know. Like, I know people that aren't good at games, but like, they're somehow they're good at chess. Oh! <laughs> what is that they got? Okay. Ow, oh, cool! It's like a GameCube. I'm playing this on a GameCube. But made out of pound cake. You will learn pound. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Synergy. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the other side. Pound. Uh, bam. It's pretty cool. I remember one time, years ago, years ago, I was playing with a friend to get my chess and. Uh, Man, this guy does not want to be caught! Ugh. You bastard. Wait, can't you just- oh wait, because he's blocked himself with rocks. Oh, I see. Sneaky. Sneaky monkey! But, we were playing a game, and it was... Somehow, we did it perfectly. This was a long game too, but somehow, we wound up... Getting into check without losing any of either of our pieces. No blood was shed. Yeah. Found. Have you ever played four-way chess? Yes, it's really confusing. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's a very well-designed game. Alright, got you. Woo! Come on, let's fight. This is like the hardest time I've ever had getting any kind of genie. I know, it's been, well, you know, it's kind of funny, he's been going off of flight the whole time. Flight, 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 yeah. flight. And then finally, once he's cornered nowhere to go, fight takes over. Yeah. I think they'd recognize that one of his buddies is with you. Maybe this kind of genie and the other kind of genie are natural enemies. The fire and the earth genie. Yeah. Maybe Earth Genie just- maybe Echo just wanted to find other same element genies. Not Mars. Are you saying that genies are racist? Yes. 
<laughs> Jenna found the Morris Genie Cannon. Was there anything on the other side? Or was it just the room? Well, I don't know. Why don't you break on through? To the other side? What's over here? Mini Goblin, die! Good thing you haven't encountered a Goblin Goblin. I mean, Mini Goblin. Only Mini Goblins. Or a Mega Goblin. Ah, I see. So if you want to clear the path to go back. Found! That's the bay bay way you came. Pooned. And this is the way out. Pond. Pond. Wow, this dungeon's just drawn on, isn't it? Yeah. Dang, it's a long dungeon. Wait, I can't jump over? And it took all that just to catch the genie. Yeah. It's kind of clever. I've never seen it done like that in this game. And that was the Dekar Plane. That's about enough time for this episode. Join us next time on an exciting adventure of Mag Sam's Let's Play Golden Sun 2, The Lost Age. Have a wonderful night. Stay beautiful, people.